Hello, my name is Jupiter, and I will be narrating this video for Mark Shrimp Tanks. I'd like to show you the setup where Mark keeps his crystal red shrimp. You'll discover numerous insights and advice throughout this video, including various tips and tricks on raising baby crystal red shrimp. These best practices can also be applied to other bee shrimp types. Mark begins with a base of either Akadama or Amazonia V1 or V2 substrate, about two to three centimeters thick in his 50 liter tanks. Before adding shrimp, he cycles the tank for one to two months to ensure a stable environment. During this cycling period, he ghost feeds the tank with powdered foods once or twice a week to establish beneficial bacteria. The water used is reverse osmosis water, mineralized with bee shrimp mineral GH plus to reach a conductance of 200 microsiemens. This careful preparation and the use of active soil result in ideal water parameters for a crystal red shrimp approximately GH5, KH0, pH6. The water temperature is consistently maintained at 22 degrees Celsius, creating a conducive environment for the shrimp's healthy activity and well-being. Let's talk about filtration now. Mark uses two cheap sponge filters, with each one rated to clean 60 liters of water. So we have very good filtration in this 50 liter tank. The sponge filters have a big surface area. If you feed powdered foods, for example, you get a big area covered with powder that the little crystal red shrimp can graze on. Mark only cleans the sponge when the water flow is significantly reduced. This can be indicated by large bubbles just bursting at the outlet instead of a steady stream of well oxygenated water. Moss is almost a must in a shrimp breeding tank because the little shrimp always find food in it. Besides moss, Mark also puts caves and tubes in his tank which act as hiding places for the little bees. It's also very important to have leaves in the tank. In general, Mark uses dead brown leaves from walnut, oak, and beech trees. The leaves must have different decomposition stages. Mark puts a few leaves in the tank every two weeks. The leaves can stay there. They are decomposed by microorganisms, which are in turn great food for the little shrimps. Leaves may be fed generously. Mark keeps his lights on for eight hours a day to ensure the moss and other plants thrive supporting the ecosystem within the tank. Let's discuss feeding the shrimp now. Young bee shrimp are relatively immobile during the first few days. Therefore, Mark prefers to feed them powdered foods, such as powdered fish flakes, pollen, Bacter AE, or dead shrimp powder. These fine particles float in the tank, reaching every corner, and eventually settle on the sponge filter, where they can be easily consumed by the young shrimplets it's advisable to provide a small amount of food every day. Mark also inks nettles or spinach in the shrimp's diet at least once a week. The leaves are briefly boiled, rinsed with cold water, and then added to the tank. Nettles and spinach are rich sources of calcium and magnesium, essential nutrients for shrimp molting. Moving on to the acclimation process, Mark emphasizes the importance of drip acclimation for all shrimp, even when transferring them from tank to tank. Rushing acclimation or skipping it entirely can result in shrimp fatalities. Mark has achieved a 100% success rate in moving shrimp by drip acclimation, which is also safe for baby shrimp and mother shrimps full of eggs. This method ensures a smooth transition and minimizes stress on the shrimp. Now let's talk about water changes. Mark does not do any water changes at all in his bee shrimp tanks. Yes, you heard that right. Mark no longer does water changes in his bee shrimp tanks because he noticed he has better results not doing them. Mark only tops up his tanks with pure reverse osmosis water once or twice a week. These tanks in general will last one to two years if you maintain a substrate depth of around two to three centimeters. Mark suggests that you forget about reading in-tank numbers and start enjoying your shrimp keeping.